Okay. Um, let's pray first. Father Yahuwah, I just want to give you glory and praise and thank you for another Shabbat that you have given unto us. Help us, O oh Father, to continue to walk according to your divine will and your divine way. Many times we have leaned to our own understanding and, uh, and not have uh, trusted you with all of our ways. And that has brought uh, perhaps, you know, failure and uh, displacement even to our lives. We are still a people that walk by our own understanding. But at the same time, we're saying that you say it, you told us, and this, here, and that. But we want to be a people that, that is truly called by your name, that is walking in full obedience. That means not trusting and leaning to our own understanding, but walking according to your divine ruach. We bless you this morning. And the words that we're about to uh, read in, in your Torah, oh, Father, I pray that you will begin to interpret it so we can understand it by your spirit. We need you. We need you in more ways than we can even understand. And I know that there's many things that come to attack our faith, to, uh, uh, to put us in the wrong place with you because we still have a Hasatan that is on the loose that is still trying to deceive your people. So we are coming to you this morning asking that your holy and divine will will be done among us. Help us to humble ourselves, seek your face, and get out of us the things that will order our lives if it's not you. Because it's just simply idolatry, which we don't want to call it that. But it's just simply idolatry. Idolatry comes in many forms. And we will we are not be able to, to see it uh, and to accept your way. Until we humble ourselves, oh Father, and quit going after what we think we need, what we want, oh Father, and begin to go after what the Spirit is leading us to be, to do, and to, uh, and to receive. We give you glory for this. In Amashek's name, hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to begin to read... Uh, in Matthew 24... And I'm just going to read, and then I'm going to go to a different place. And this is what the scripture says. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 1. It says, and Yahuwah, and Yahuwah went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him uh, for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Yahushua said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left one stone upon another um, that shall not be thrown down. Now, see, the disciples was proud of their edifices, and, and a lot of people, we are still like that today. We, are, we, 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 we love uh, our edifices, our buildings, and many times, you know, um, that is causing a lot of detriments to us, too, because the scriptures have already told us, but we don't know the word like we should know the word. The scriptures have already told us in the land that I'm sending you in, you will serve their gods, their Elohims, wood and stone. So sometimes the very edifice that we're in, it could be an idol because we're worshiping it, and you see it right here in proof. See, Yahuwah didn't care about these things because even, uh, uh, oh, look at the great temple. Look at the great edifice. Yahushua said it won't be one stone left on top of another until all be fulfilled. All that going to be torn down. Why? Because idol worship is in the building. They used in my father's house. That was Solomon's temple. That was Solomon's temple in which they was talking about. And if you know, when Solomon began to dedicate the temple, he, he, he asked the father, you know, even when your people are in trouble, and if they should pray toward this place, if they're not even in this place, but if they would pray toward this place, and Yahuwah promised that he would save them and all that, and told Solomon things, what not to do, and uh, how he was going to be with him continuously. But Solomon disobeyed him, and now they're pushing the temple up before him and think uh, Yahushua is impressed with stone and wood. We can make anything an idol. Our people can. We can make anything an idol. And that's what we have done. But so you see that this is here in scripture. Right here. Okay. In verse 3, he says, And as he sat up on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the world. And Yahushua answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Look at what the first thing he said. Take heed that no man deceive you. 
We have been so deceived today by men. We have been deceived today by religion. Yahushua didn't come to bring no religion. Yahushua didn't come to bring no Catholic uh, Catholicism. Yahushua did not come to bring no Christianity. Yahushua did not come to bring no Baptist, no Seventh-day Adventist, no Jehovah Witness, none of these things. So we already been deceived by men because we order our lives according to their doctrine and not by the holy Ruach. Can y'all see this today? Now you might not want to admit it. That's you. I don't care. But this is what we are doing. Because we think that our denomination, which is uh, 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 I, uh, an, an idolatrous uh, piece of worship, we think that everyone's supposed to come and do like we do. Everyone is supposed to, uh, the scripture tells us that we was created, we was made to worship Yahushua. That's why we was made, is to bring glory unto him, right? Now, we can even hear all of this, what I'm saying today, and we'll still go and worship what we love. There will no change be in our lives. We'll think about it for a minute, but we are so slick within our spirit because Satan has a place there. He will give us an excuse to still do what we are doing and to be at ease with it. And we are not picking up on any of this. We are not picking up on any of this. Are y'all hearing me? I got into a thing the other day, and we are not discerning nothing. It's hard for us to discern anything. I got into a situation the other day. I ain't even going to get into that. I ain't even going to tell you about that. I had to discern a person. And I told my wife, I said, that person this and that, that person do not love that child, that person do not, mm -mm, they are not for, just by what she was saying. And then lo and behold, we got around some other people because I couldn't let this thing go. And they, well, this and that, and she's this, and they this, and they that. I mean, just like what I told. We don't, do, listen, Deborah. The Most High will not be able to do with us, to do to us, until we humble ourselves, get out of our own heads, get out of our own hearts, and surrender it all to him. All to him. People don't understand this. We are not totally surrendered like we think. Oh, there's good Christians. And thinking that he loved us because I gave uh, somebody $5. Y'all feel me? That's the reason so many people are not going to make it in. Make it in well. I sure ain't talking about make it into heaven, Christian. Make it into his kingdom, which will be on earth. Because you're food also. You're, worship, you're, you're in idolatry also. Because you worship Christianity. Hamashiach did not bring Christianity. He did not bring it. He brought his father's way. You mean to tell me Yahuwah, who you call God, and Yahusha, who you call Jesus, you mean to tell me them people are Christian? So where did it come from? Hamasha said, you shall be called by your father's name. His father's name is what? Yahuwah Christian? Yahuwah Baptist? Yahuwah Catholic? Are y'all following me? So y'all see how we could get off because we haven't been made to think for ourselves. So let no man deceive you, but we, that, that, that is too late. Man already deceived us, and we are fight for our religion. Don't you know that our people, our people being the true Hebrew, the true Abari people, uh, the true people, don't you know the only reason why they became, we became Christians is because we was forced into doing it? Either become Christians or you die. We was forced into it. And, and, to, and to saying with, with becoming Muslims. We was forced into it. They didn't want the Yahudim to worship the one true Allure. 
It was a threat to them. They know we was chosen. So either convert to Christian, Christianity, either convert to Islam, or you die. And so that's how we became Christians, and that's how our people became Muslim. But you will fight me on that and not knowing, the re not knowing what happened. But you will fight me tooth and nail. That's the reason the other day what I was saying, keep your opinion to yourself if you haven't done the research. If you hadn't done the historical research, don't say a word to me. Don't even contest me to what I'm saying. If you, because you're going to have to get out of your own head how you feel and how you think. And that's the thing that, order mo that orders most of our, our coming ins and, and going out. How we feel, how we think in our head. So your head is an Elohim. You see how I'm using these words? Because I'm careful not to call Yahuwah an Elohim. Because that's plural. That's the reason he is a Lua. There's no other a Lua but him. But there are many Elohims. And I see some of our Hebrew scholars are still saying Elohim. No, that word means plural. No, that word means many God. He is not that. Our Yahuwah is not that. That's another subject. But listen, let me show you something. We're going to get on down. What verse am I at? I'm at verse 5. So you see, we already been deceived, right? When Yahushua said, let no man deceive you, when these disciples of his was trying to show him the beauty of the temple. Trying to show him the beauty of the temple. Did they not know what the Most High was showing Ezekiel what was going on in the temple? Did they not know? When Yahuwah said, Son of Man, come and see what they do. Come see what they do. And now, in Yahushua's time, oh, look at the beauty of this. Look at the beauty of that. Because that's what we caught up on, the natural things. And that's how we're able to be deceived. Another reason why we're able to be deceived, because we're hard-headed anyway. And man will tell us what we want to hear. And we want to hear that. We have to check ourselves. People will talk to you every day. And if you not, if you, and if you wear... All of us are not where we need to be, per se, in Yahuwah, because we're being perfected every day. But if you're at a certain level in Yahuwah, these people are exposing themselves by, by what they say and, and how they talk. They're showing you where their level at is in, that's, uh, in Yahuwah. They're showing you where their level at, and they don't even know it. I talked to people the other day. They showed me, they told me where their level was, and they don't even know they showed, told me. But you want to present before me and these people that you some great one. And you just, it just come out your mouth. So you are still right here. When you're thinking you're right here. I promise you. I promise you. And then if you, if you, if you are, uh, if you are, uh, what's the word? If you confront them about it, then they got an excuse. To make it not make it look so bad or so like that. Humility. You, we have to be humble and be uh, 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 um, of humility if Yahuwah, by his spirit, is going to be able to do anything with us. I promise you. And we, many of us, still don't get it. It's not about you. It's not about me. Everything is about him. It's not about my feelings. It's not about my wants. It's not about my uh, uh, um, um, denomination, which is nothing but hawk wash. That's what it is. It's hawk wash. Shoot. It's hawk wash. And we don't realize it. Yeah. You think it's the church you go to. It's hogwash. It's the allure 
or the Elohim that you serve. You know, mammon, most people just think it's just strictly money. But mammon is anything that benefits you. You got me? It, uh, uh, mammon is anything that, that, that brings benefit to you, your life. Mammon is anything that is of value. And Yahushua said, you cannot serve Yahuwah and mammon. Most of us serve what we think is benefit to us. Oh, it might be benefit for us for Sister Lily to give me attention and tell me what a wonder I am and making me feel good. So... She mad me. Are y'all following me? I can't serve mammon and Yahuwah. And we do this stuff every day and not even realizing it. I don't have to be told by you that, that uh, I'm this and that. Everything that I am, Yahuwah have already conveyed it. And I don't need no one. Y'all, y'all not following me. I'm just trying to show you how bad we are messed up and we think we're going to make it in. In where? Certainly not into heaven. I know that's throwing you for a flip. It says, and ye and many shall come in my name saying, I am Mashiach and shall deceive many. Now, what does that mean? Oh, there are going to be people claiming to be Jesus. That ain't only what that means. I'm just saying what they say now. You got me? I'm, uh, look at here. I'm coming in a Mashiach's name. <laughs> if you're standing for righteousness, huh? if you're preaching what he have told you to preach, teaching what he have told you to teach, if your allegiance is to him, you're coming in his name, not your own. You come, to come in his name is to have his authority. Backing you. Y'all following me? But now he's talking about many false people with other motives is going to come in his name. Deceiving many. We see these in churches every day. Every day. Unless your motive is to, is to, is to preach to Yahuwah's people the true message of hope and what's really going on around here, you coming in his name in a false way. In a false way. You got your own motive. Now, some people might not understand or even know that they have their own motive simply because they are uninformed and they're walking by what they've been taught. But things that appear is not, things that are seen is not actually how they are uh, uh, appear. We just refuse to go deeper. We just, we, we just uh, uh, believe that the boulder, that, that the boulder is uh, 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 20 miles across without measuring it ourselves. So if somebody tell me that this thing is, is six feet tall, yeah, it look about that. You haven't measured it yourself. So now it's been wrote in history that this particular item is 20 foot, I mean, uh, six foot tall, six foot tall, six foot tall, when it was actually six foot five or five nine. But because I uh, chose to believe Socrates, now everybody is off. Everybody is off. And then we want to get mad and you haven't even done the research. Only thing you have done is what Rome told you to do. Only thing you have preached is what Rome told you to preach. Well, how can you say that then, boy? How can you say that then, man? Because you still think his name Jesus. You still think the Father's name is God. And Lord and all of that. What do you mean, like Lord Rothschild? The lords of England, because King James did uh, 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 this, um, translate the Bible, the Hebrew Bible, and they call them lords in England. So you put the most high in that category with man. Lord. Are oh, you following me? Did you also know that King James wrote a demonic book? 
teaching folk how to cast spells and stuff. Did you also know that? Father, let the right people hear this when it, when it, when it, when it um, airs. Let the right people hear this because it's time for our folk to wake up and we're refusing to wake up. And as we're refusing to wake up, we are not going to make it in. In where? Into his kingdom. Into the gathering. Are y'all following me? All right, let's, let's read some more. We've already noted that. We've already been deceived, right? Some were back to different. Just like the Pharisees, when, when, when Hamashiach told, told, told them that, uh, uh, that Abraham is not your father because you're seeking to kill me, you know. We be not born of fornication, <laughs> of adultery or whatever they say it, you know. And we are not in bondage to any man. You was in bondage to Rome then. Right when you said that. But we could be so deceived, Sister Lily, we actually can't see what we around, what, what's in us and what's around us. And we'll deny everything. We're not in bondage to any man. But act up and see what Caesar do to you. Everything you do, you had to get Caesar's permission. You had to get Caesar's permission. So that was really pretty much one ethnic group fighting toward another ethnic group is back. Matthew says it's coming back. It's back. Listen, let's, go, let's read some more. <sighs> Verse 5 says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must Come to pass, but the end is not yet. Are we there yet? Now, here the smart addict and the ones that, that fear and don't want to accept things for what it really is. Well, there's always been wars. You know what I mean? You are right. But not like it is today. The rumors of it. These people are, de uh, are determining to fight everywhere. Now, nations against nations. You know what that means? There will be wars, nations against nations. And it ain't so much particularly talking about Russia against America, though it is. But it's also talking about ethnic groups against ethnic groups. We are a nation, right? We, we are a, a, a nation. Hamites are a nation. Gergeshites are a nation. Remember when the Most High told Joshua to go in there and destroy them seven nations? He was talking about people, those seven nations. How many know that they're trying to, they, they really want a race war? But at the same time, how many know by the time they get it, Israel beating, uh, Yahuwah beating built Israel up so, because it's in scripture that we're going to take down some nations with these but they're going to be empowered and anointed. That's in scripture. I think it's Ezekiel. That Judah. And Judah going to lead the way. It's time for black folk to come together and stop pulling each other back down in the bucket once one almost had gotten out of their trap. And you can see it everywhere. Yahuwah is not only gathering us, but he got to give us one mind before we can, we can gather. We got to have one mind. I got to stop getting jealous over Sister Lily and what she got. I got to stop getting jealous over, over Denise and y'all, whatever I have. It's time for us to come together. Huh? It's time for us to support our own businesses. They, they rising up. They, 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 they are rising up. Why do I keep giving my money to uh, uh, your... your, your um, to uh, uh, Esau when he studied oppressing. Why do you think them sundown town, uh, Yahuwah destroyed them over in uh, North uh, Carolina there? They had just hanged one man and killed another one. And them town were demolished. My wife saw on video, on video, where the, uh, the, the, the storm came through Sister Lily and took the whole foundation of a brick house away dug up the foundation 
Judgment is already in the land. And I pray that, uh, that uh, a lot of our uh, Caucasian brothers wake up. Wake up because judgment is in the land. You, many of you mistreated uh, the chosen people, which is us. You can keep thinking them other fake folk get all you want to, but they do not fit the script. And if you will read the script more closely, you will see that they won't fit the, the script. But you don't want to... You don't want it to be that way because you got so much hatred for true Yasharel. You got so much hatred for it. But you better open your eyes up because you're going to have to cleave to us in order to be saved. I don't know what you're talking about. I only got to cleave to Jesus. Who produced Jesus? Go to Revelation and read about the woman that produced the man child that's going to rule the nations with a rod of iron. That's Israel. Well, you taking credit from you? I'm not taking no credit from you. Who? I'm just simply stating the scriptures. Your uh, uh, Yahusha come from Israel through Yahuwah. If that makes any sense, <laughs> I'm just calling things for what it is. You're gonna have to cleave to us. You're gonna have to cleave to us. Judgment have already began. And if you want it to stop with you, you're going to have to repent, uh, Gentile. You're going to have to repent. You're going to have to get it together. Let me tell you something too, Yasharel. You are a set-apart people. If we have to keep these feast days, holy days, and all that, which we're going to get back into again, because you who have updated that prophecy and brought some more understanding, it is not for you to care what somebody say because you are set apart from them. We are a set apart people. We can't accept that. We can't set, accept that because guess what? Our ancestor Deborah always wanted to be like the other nations anyway. So we can't accept that we are actually a set apart people. Set apart. Whom Christianity calls sanctified. <laughs> But they won't tell you exactly what it is. Christianity, call, you actually are a set apart people for Yahuwah, but they call you sanctified. You see all the deception in there. <laughs> you see all the deception. It's just a matter of how they use their words or carry on. Man, I, I, I'm trying to get through with this. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers or different places. You say where well, all these things have been, but they're going to be on the rise. That's what's going to bring the distinction. They're going to be like you never saw before. But what do we care? Right? <laughs> what do we care? Because we don't believe this. We don't think this is never going to happen. Because it hadn't happened all the days I was living. So we choose to go by our own head. We have to get those certain elements of, of, of poison or deceit out of our spirit because that's what orders most of our lives and that's what's going to cause the destruction of most of us because we, we, we choose not to expel those, kind, those ways of thoughts. And they're only coming from me reasoning with myself, with my fallen flesh. I'm reasoning with my fallen flesh. What kind of information or, or, or what kind of uh, direction do we expect to get from that? When I'm reasoning with my fallen flesh. Come on. All right, listen. Verse 8. It says, all these are the beginning of sorrow. You mean to tell me all this is stuff that happened and, and it ain't finna, he, you ain't finna come get us yet? Oh, Jesus, you ain't come yet, Jesus. You said you're going to come and rapture me. Jesus is coming first, but a Marshak is coming later. Your Jesus is coming first, Christian, Christian because that's what's going to deceive you. Your Jesus. But Yahushua, 
is coming later. Are y'all following me? Just trying to wake them up. It says, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Some version says you're going to be hated of all nations for following me. You're going to be hated. What people are hated everywhere they go today? We just refuse to see this thing. And, and the imposter have mimicked a so, so good, uh, 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 Sister Lily. But we actually have done nothing to be hated. They have done some stuff to be hated. And besides this, you can do what you want to do, say what you want to say, and believe what you want to believe, and continue to think what you want to think. Yahushua said they are the synagogue of Satan. Daniel didn't say that. Daniel just reads that and agree with that, uh, might, might, might I say. I agree with it. I do. Because you have to... We got so many people that refuse to judge people by their fruit. Hamashek told her, Denise, he said, by their fruit, you should know them. But you say, you can't judge me. Yes, I can. By your fruit, he, 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 he told me, I will know you. By your fruit. I will know you. Look, all we do, Yasharel, because we've been conditioned to do it, all we do is go around killing up one another. We got to stop that, Yasharel. These people go around killing everything in the earth. All we're doing is killing each other. Which we got to stop that. Or end got to come to that. But these people travel throughout the world killing everybody. Why? Because they are the synagogue of Satan. The synagogue. These are actually facts and they are actually truths that no one wants to comprehend. Because why? We've been deceived by men. We have allowed men to deceive us. They don't give a crap about deceiving you, Ty. They used to deceive their own people. There's people over there that really think that they are who they say they are. They have to deceive their own people. It says, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Then shall many be offended. Do we not see this now? That's the reason I say we're going to have to, we're gonna, uh, some of our children that we didn't raise in our home, they might be grown at the time, but we're going to have to leave them. This is scripture here. Everything that is not yielded to Hamashiach, everything that is not in, in, in league with Yahuwah, whether it be your husband, whether it be your wife, whether it be your daughter, whether it be your son, your niece, or, or whoever, your granddaddy and your grandpappy and mammy and all that. If they're not in league, you're going to have to lead them, folk. Don't believe that, do you? Why? Because Christianity, we got to love everyone. We have to love. With, with kindness have I drawn thee. Man, get out of town with that. Our Savior is telling us how things is going to get. And we don't, we, we don't want to acknowledge that. We don't want to put that in our mind. Because we are governed by such nice people. We, we don't even want to hurt a, a dog. Dogs is going to be more, even now today, is much loyal than some of us to each other. And then shall many be offended? Why are they going to be offended? Because truth is being being told. And let me, let me tell you this here too. Offended also means to stumble. 
Why is many going to stumble? Because you ain't going to be able to get that loaf of bread and your navel, your navel stick into your spine. So you're going to stumble and you're going to turn against each other because you refuse to, to put things in place. You refuse to give yourself to Yahushua. Are y'all following me? Or you got bored now and ready to go? Come on. I'm trying to show us something. I'm trying to show us something here. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another. They, look, they ain't saying that they mad at you. They saying that they are stumbling and they're going to begin to be, be, betray you. This is what the scripture is saying. Uh, another and shall hate one another. That's already among our, um, or our community. Oh, shoot. I mean, I hear people say it all the time, the black community. We ain't got no community. You know what a community is. We got neighborhoods. We ain't got no community. You know what a community is. A community consists of infrastructure, hospitals, and everything. We just got neighborhoods. We ain't got no infrastructure. We, 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 we don't own no fire departments. We don't own no hospitals. We don't own these things. We don't own no banks. We ain't got no community. So quit saying the black community. Just say the black neighborhood. Because we won't come together to have no community. See, the curse been broken now. And, 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 if, the, and if, the, uh, uh, if, if the Hebrew people come together now and begin to build like they did with, with Wall, uh, Black Wall Street and all that kind of stuff, they can't come down and tear it up and bomb it no more. Because the curse been broken. We, we, we own... The other, we on the north side now of the, uh, of the 400 year prophecy, if that makes any sense. The Gentiles' power is, 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 is no longer, would no longer be effective like it was back in the day, if y'all hear what I'm saying. It's dissipating. It's dissipating. And sometimes we use what was happening, our folk use, especially white Democrats, they use, uh, 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 you know, like the bombing of Oklahoma, the Black Wall Street and stuff. And they use that stuff to keep us so they can get power and get our votes and all that kind of stuff. They didn't tell you that it was built back. Black Wall Street, it was built back. <laughs> yeah. They don't tell you. They just want to keep you in the negative and, and, and the Republicans and Man, away with y'all. We've been deceived on everything and by everybody, Republican and Democrat, because we refuse to follow Yahuwah. We refuse to follow him. Are y'all feeling me? I want to get on down. Look what he said right here in verse 11. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. We love them. We love a lie rather than the truth. Prophesy to me. Prophesy that I'm going to get a million and you ain't even got the mind to even handle a uh, uh, hundred thousand. But you've been prophesied that you're going to get a million. We love the prosperity gospel. Black folk do. Uh, 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 a love the, the, uh, the prosperity gospel. We love that. We're not going to do right because we haven't allowed Yahuwah to teach us. We haven't allowed his plan to go through. He's already have picked and chosen the leaders of Yasharel when we get in the kingdom. They've already been picked and chosen. You got me? He's going to be pure folk, 144,000. And see, he can't pick some of us. You know why? Because we think that our influence brings us prestige. We don't contribute nothing to him. <laughs> We don't contribute a thing to him. Everything that I am, I want people to acknowledge it toward me. Well, if it wasn't for Daniel, this hadn't happened. This wouldn't have happened. You know, uh, uh, we want the glory. There are some people that do the amazing things and you never know their name or their face. They're not after that. We have simply not humbled ourselves. We just got to have the glory, babe. 
So people, somebody got to know, Allison, that I've done this. <laughs> we can't settle with the fact that Yahuwah did it through me. He chose me to do it, but I have to have my name on top of his. We see it everywhere. The gospel according to Matthew, the gospel according to Luke, John, and Mark. How about the gospel according to Yahuwah that was given them? We got to have our name over everything. There's no humility among Yasharel. Not true humility. Do you, or have you ever even thought, have, you would be amazed what the Father can do through us if we would just humble ourselves and stop trying to seek his glory. What causes us to do these things? Maybe because we've been beat down in slavery and I just need something to, to validate me. Something to let you know that I got a mind and I know how to accomplish things. Is that what it is? Something that happened to us, the reason why we got to have the glory for everything. Pastors that pastor a church, but they think that they can be administrators and everything else. Everything. We think that we can be everything. Everything that, that, that an organization is, is calling for. But what did the disciples uh, 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 tell them when, them when them widows was crying out because they wouldn't be treated right? What did he tell him? He said, go and choose seven men that is filled with the Ruach, Arkadash, and appoint them over this business because we don't have time to serve no table. We have to give ourselves to the prayer and the word. But we want to be everything these days. We want our name up on it. If the widows are suffering in this church or whatever, then I, I got to do it because I got to have you look at me. Y'all ain't feeling me. We're, we're, we're messed up. We, we are messed up. We are messed up. Let me, let me, it's a place that I'm trying to get to, but I know I keep running my mouth. Look what he said now. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Right? Shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Why don't you think we don't care about folk like we used to care about? Because iniquity, sin, evil, unrighteousness is plentiful in this earth. And we have been attacked by it or have absorbed it. That's the reason we don't love anymore like we need to love or like we should love. You know? You can tell that at funerals today. You can tell that at people's deaths today. Man, I remember back in the day when we, had, when we went to funerals and somebody died. Ooh, man, we would do some showing up hollering and grieving and kind and all this kind of stuff. Now it's just, you know, uh, it ain't that no more. Because we really don't love people anymore. We really don't love people anymore. Not even if it's our parents. Not even if it's our siblings. But ain't nobody going to tell you that because all of us got something to hide and I got to act like I love you, Ty, so that I won't be looked at bad. If we would just be honest, Yahuwah would be, would be able to straighten us out and to help us do something, but well, I just don't feel the way about you like I used to feel. If we would just admit that. I don't know what's happening to me, Deborah, but I just don't, I just don't love you like I used to love you. If you pass now, I could just continue with my life and just... If we could admit some of that kind of stuff, Yahuwah would give us a heart just like his, and we'll begin to love each other again. But he told us because sin is so rapid in the earth, this is what's hardening our heart to keep us from loving one another. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll feel something. We'll feel something. And everyone needs, if, we, if we're going to grieve, we have to grieve in a, in a healthy manner. But my, we don't even worry about having to grieve in no healthy manner depending on who it is because I ain't carrying that no way. Not that deep. Not that deep. Unless it's really, really, really. Now, I'm not talking about all of us. So don't, don't, don't put your underwear in a bunch. I'm not talking about everybody, but the majority of us. But the majority of um, uh, among us, we have allowed the iniquity, the darkness that is in this world to affect us in a negative, in a negative way. 
Can I get a hallelujah? Yeah. <laughs> All right, look at here. Let's go on down. It says, And because nicotine shall abound, the love of men shall wax cold. Now, verse 13 says, But he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Have you seen any rapture in this yet? Have you seen any uh, 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 Yahusha busting through the sky and, 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 and riding on, on the white horse and, 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 and many in the earth disappearing in the twinkling of an eye? Have you seen any rapture in this yet? And he's just telling us the bad crap that is coming to this world. But, we, but now he's telling us to need, endure to the end and you'll be saved. What you got to say about that Christian? Christian man? Christian woman? Christian leader? Come on, what you got to say about this? He ain't, that, that meant for Israel. <laughs> Boy, we'll come up, we'll come up with, with the, the ooh, excuses. That meant for Israel to go through because they don't believe in Jesus yet. If that meant for just Israel, well, what a, a, uh, so Israel going to be the only nation in this earth? When he said nation shall rise against nation, ethnic group against ethnic group, all this stuff is going to happen. And he said nothing about we gone yet. So some of y'all gone and all Israel here. No, Israel is going to be right here along with the, 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 the rest of you because that is also our part of our wilderness experience. I'm telling you. A lot of this is coming to destroy the nations, to, to, draw, to destroy the Gentile nations that have oppressed and tried to destroy the chosen people. But a lot of this is happening. We're still here because, huh, it's a part of our wilderness experience to line us out. Would y'all agree that we need to be lined out? Some of us have not taken, uh, taken, uh, have not learned from the past disciplines that Allure told us simply because we just got mad and got stubborn and got hard-headed and got mean about it and not learned from it. So we still continue to walk in the same in the same things. We still walk in the same things. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Endure what? Endure what? Huh? And this Bosera or this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. I thought we gone. Well, them the two witnesses are going to be preaching to all the nation. Them, them, them two witnesses. Did it say that? It says, this basura shall be preached in all the world. And you got people today saying this have already happened. Well, have it, yeah, I heard it the other day. It said, the gospel have already went out to every, every kingdom in the world. Well, how come the end didn't come yet? You, you see how we can defy the words of Yahuwah and say and think what we want to think and people will believe that other, over the scriptures. He said when it's preached to every in, inch of the world, he said then the end come, will come. Then the end comes. So if the end hadn't come, that means that every ear ain't heard this. But we want to believe men and men have deceived us. Is that not what your Bible says? And this gospel of the kingdom, it didn't say the gospel of heaven. This gospel or this way 
and how the kingdom operates. The kingdom of who? The kingdom of Yahuwah, the way it operates. This way has to be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Or the crap that we didn't preach that ain't truth, it might have went out to every ear, and then these people say, well, the gospel that went out to every, not the gospel of the kingdom. Because the kingdom speaks of your, uh, speaks of your who has chosen folk. The, uh, 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 the gospel of the kingdom even speaks of who's going to run his kingdom. Now, of course, Yahuwah, the king of all kings, and all nations going to flow into it, but the chosen people are the ones that are going to carry it out. Huh? The law shall go forth. From Jerusalem, uh, 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 from Jerusalem, uh, the law shall go forth from Zion, and the word uh, of the Most High from Jerusalem, because that's where his headquarters is going to be. Now, I ain't talking about New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem still hadn't come down yet. Over in Isaiah 11, it still hadn't even come down yet. This is just simply talking about the thousand-year millennial reign. See, Yahushua still hadn't come until that time yet. But they wait on him to break the sky in the rapture, Denise. They wait on him to break the sky in the, in the rapture. Oh, Father. We, we've been so deceived. We've been so deceived. But many of us still choose to believe what feel good to us. I'm going to be raptured out of here. If you don't evade that belief, you are already deceived. But if you choose to continue to believe that, that's going to bring a deeper deception up on you. And that's what Yahuwah said that because you be, Yahuwah said because you believe a lie in 2 Thessalonians 2, because you believe a lie, I'm going to send a strong delusion upon you to believe that lie because you have pleasure in your unrighteousness. He said, I'm going to send a stronger delusion upon you if you continue to still believe this lie. Come on now, people of y'all. We got to turn this stuff here around. Now, it says, uh, it says, when you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel, the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whosoever readeth, let him understand. Then let them which flee in Yehuda flee unto the mountains. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Now, this part that I'm reading now, guess what? Now, a similar is going to be like it, but this has already been fulfilled. This has already been fulfilled. This was fulfilled in 70 A.D. 70 A.D. The beginning of uh, the scattering of, uh, uh, of, of Yehuda. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of the desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whosoever readeth, let him understand. Then let them which, which be in Yehuda flee into the mountains. Now listen to me. This have already been uh, 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 uh. This have already been fulfilled. Because we ain't in no land to flee nowhere today. Do you see that? We, we're not in the land. To flee. We're not in our land to flee. It says, let him which is on the mountaintop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath days. For then shall be great tribulation. This, this, this is not talking about today, even though it's going to be a rough time that we're coming into, too, because that which shall be and shall be again, there's nothing new under the sun. It said, then there shall be great tribulation, such as, now, the way Yahushua spoke these things, they collided with things that have already come to pass. And, and this is where we really have to be led, allow ourselves to be led by the Ruach or by the Holy Spirit. We're going to have to be led by the Holy Spirit to, so he can discern, uh, uh, cause us to have discernment of what has passed versus what hasn't. So we can map this stuff out so we can know what is what. But if we just take what man say, man that is not led by, his, his, uh, 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 by the Ruach, but by his education, by his the, the, uh, theology, uh, the, uh, theocracy degrees and stuff, if we allow that 
then we will be deceived. Are, are y'all following me? And this is what we have done. You know, e oh. a lot through Edom. I might not can say this plan that I'm about to say because they might try. You know, they can't get much. You know, it's it just like, oh, I ain't even gonna say it. Now, look at here now. Now, he's still intermingling the seasons. The season. Are do y'all understand me when I say what I'm saying now? He's still intermingling the seasons. Okay, that which might have happened in Dan Daniel's day, he's intermingled with what's going to happen in our day. So you won't be able to discern. You'll think that this, you know, are y'all following me now? It's intermingled, intermingled with what he's saying right here. It says, uh, 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 da, 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 da. it says, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor shall ever be. That's an intermingled right there because it was rough in 70 AD for Judah. And it's going to be rough whenever these things begin to happen in full scope for us today because he said this right here. It says, and except, uh, da, 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 da. it says, for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor, no, nor shall ever be. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. That's an intermingle there. Because that was destruction of the temple. These people, these Romans came in and pulled up the very foundation of that temple. Now that was, that, and when, in 70 AD, that was prophecy being fulfilled what Hamashiach told his disciples when they were trying to get him to admire the temple. That was prophecy being fulfilled that Hamashiach made. Now, my question to you is this right here. Who is the elect? Who is the elect? Huh? You. You. Just you. Huh? You didn't include you. You said you. So that's excluding someone. If it's her. Huh? The who? Look, when you read stuff like this right here, the Christians want to claim it. The elect is Yasharel. Just like he said, the elect is Yasharel. The elect is us, not me, but us. <laughs> you see, the elect is us. And if, and if, and if Sister Lily is an Edomite, Sister Lily had to attach herself to me. Okay. You hear me? She had to attach herself to me. So now she become part of the elect, huh? Not by blood, but through attachment. She, she going to walk and believe the same Yahuwah, walk and believe the same Torah. She attached herself. You, you feel me? And that is what they are unwilling to do, many of them. They are unwilling to do that. Why? Because they allowed the Romans and all the other devilish folk in, in the world to make this about skin color. It was never about skin color. It was about bloodline. But the higher ups, the, uh, uh, the elites, their ancestors made it about skin color to deceive you. But their people are still existing today, you see, to deceive you. All right, now, do y'all, I'm not going to, I don't have to read anymore. Let me see. I want to skip down. Mm. Let's go to verse 23. Now, keep in mind all this that I've read, right? All this destruction that's coming. Keep that in mind, right? 
Now, look at verse 23. It says, then, then if any man shall say unto you, lo, here is Mashiach, or there, believe it not. Why? Why? That's somebody pointing out that there Jesus is. He said, believe it not. So he still hadn't came? Rapture still hadn't took place and all this bad stuff had happened? I'm supposed to be spared of all this. He said, believe it not. If someone says, here's Yahushua, believe it not. So he still hadn't came, Allison. I'm telling you, you better stop believing this lie. Though you're going to be deceived. He still hadn't come. When nations are warring against nations, huh? when, when, when earthquakes and famines, and he, he still hadn't come yet. <laughs> like we've been told. He still hadn't come. Okay, look. It says, uh, 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 it says, for there shall arise anti Mashiach, <laughs> anti Mashiach, and false prophets. And shall, uh, uh, and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Now that go again. Why is it going to be impossible to deceive us? Because we are waking up and turning back to our Torah and it's telling us what's going on and we are understanding it. That's why it's, it's going to be impossible to deceive us, Denise. Not me, but us. <laughs> Us, because we are waking up. We are waking up, and we are seeing the truth because our Father is waking us up, nations. You better get on the bandwagon. The door is open. We're not going to do y'all the way y'all did us. Even though some of us might want to twist your head off, but the spirit that abides in us is not going to allow that. And because we have a conscience toward our allure, we won't do what you've done to us. We won't. But if you don't turn and hear what we are saying, because the word of the Most High shall go forth from Zion. <laughs> Only a few of us going to make it out. <laughs> <laughs> the word has got to go forth from Zion. The law has to go forth. The Torah has to go forth from Zion. That's where he has set it up to me. Well, who you think you is? Who he said I was? See, what we don't understand this is, babe, we are not the law giver, but we are the law carriers. We have to carry the Torah. We are not the Torah giver, but we are the Torah carriers. People don't believe it. People don't believe it because Christianity have messed you up from the flow up. And that's what you believe in. Christianity told you that Jesus is coming back to get you and you won't have to go through any of these things. That Jesus is coming to destroy you. Who that Jesus really is. Caesar's Bosius. You've been made to believe this stuff and you refuse to hear what, I even, what I'm even saying now because this thing has become molded in your heart, molded in your head. You can't even perceive in your head actually what color he is because you've been shown this one color all your life. Well, what does that matter? It had to matter, though you wouldn't have changed it. It had to have mattered. Because the reason why they changed it was to control Yasharel. They had to take your, uh, your, 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 your real savior and give you theirs. To deceive you and to cause you to surrender, submit, and worship them. Are y'all following me? They had to give you their European God. Toby be good nigga. Toby be good nigga. Toby going to serve you, Massa. Touch Toby. Toby ain't going to run no more. <laughs> yeah, Toby. 
Mm -mm. See, some of them are offended and mad at this here, but you ain't on, you're not offended and mad at it uh, 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 because you don't think I'm supposed to do it. They're offended and mad at it because it's the truth. That's the way it was. See, what America hate that they cannot deny, and that's slavery. And they could deny everything else, you know, six, seven hundred years about, you'll never know about that, but they cannot deny slavery because it's too young. You see, it's too young. And they refuse to, t we, we, many of our people never consider who they were before slavery. They don't know. So, so, they, they, don't, they don't know and they don't care. They don't dig. And you, do you know who you were before slavery? Do you care to even know? Do you care to even know who you were, what you were, where you come from? Some of us don't even believe it, Denise. We don't believe it. Why? Because you be told we're in love with the lands that we have been driven to. We're in love with their lives. We're in love with their life, the way they live, how they speak, the way they do, huh? how they are accepted by everywhere. We're in love with that. That can never be of you. Why? Because you are a set-apart people, not a sanctified people, but a set-apart. Somebody say, well, that's the same thing. Pretty much is. But you have to understand the more that you are set apart for the most high. You have to live different. You have to think different. You have to eat different. You have to be different because you are different. I don't care what John, John Riddle say. And a lot of us are refusing to uh, really convert, not convert, but be what you are because we care what John say. We care what Miss Prissy, how she feel about us. We want to be like them. Don't you know you're the most beautiful people in the world? Don't you know you're the most powerful people in the world? That's reason they work so hard to keep you from reading, to keep you held down. Because anything that you do, because of our God-given DNA, God, well, I better, I better change that. Because our Yah given DNA, you will exceed in everything that you do. You, you will excel. Excel. And they know that. Man, it come to find out that our people invent most of the inventions that is out today. Our people did. Why? Because of that inner wisdom that you got from Yahuwah. The inner wisdom. All this stuff. Just found out last night, you know, just uh, yesterday, you know, just cruising uh, uh, social media and stuff. And, you know, it has its perks. It has its perks, but that can become an idol, too, if you're not careful. Even, even the, 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 the street sweepers, the big giant sweep, found out a Yehudi invented that. We invented everything. We invented everything. We actually invented the light bulb, but Edison took it. I promise you, our people is just so magnificent, but look at us today. We're fighting to keep each other under when we should be fighting together to succeed. And what Y'all got gifts and talents that you ain't even tapped into, but in the reason, y'all have kept us from tapping into a lot of them because we are... We're still not trained yet. Our spirit is still not trained in the image of his Holy Spirit, and we'll just do what we want to do. Y'all feel me, right? But we have a y'all given DNA about us, and they know this stuff, Bob. They know that we are, we are, we are superb. But we've been told we are nothing. You're black, you're ugly. They had to beat you down to keep you from knowing who you really were because you would excel. They had to beat you down in order to rule over you because if you've never been beat down and you know who you are, it would have been impossible for them to rule over you. 
impossible. But that rulership is coming to an end. Now, I'm going to stop right here. Y'all heard all the bad things I read. That's supposed to happen, right? This is what I want to get to. Go to uh, uh, Revelations. Revelations, the third chapter. Look at this right here. This is what we're going to have to come to if we want to escape these things. Y'all feel me? And I'm going to read this and be done in a minute here. I'm going to start at the first chapter, though, but I want to get down to the other verses. But I'm going to start at the third chapter, the first verse. Look what it says. Everyone there? Revelation 3, verse 1. It says, And unto the angel of the assembly of Sardis writes, These things saith he that hath the seven ruach of, of Elohim. That's the way it is in this Bible, but it's really of uh, of. Uh, of uh, Alua and the seven stars he says I know thy works that thou hast a name that thou livest but you know you're dead see this is the fault of us our people perhaps all people but we, by us being a set apart people if you're dead you're going to have to say you're dead if you're lacking in some things if you say I'm not there yet you're going to have to say I'm not there and don't be trying to come up don't be trying to do but just Crap that's been spoken over. Fake it till you make it, child. Are y'all following me? Because this is what we are. He said, I know you got a name that you live in. You saying that you live in, but you are dead. Spiritually dead is what he's talking about here now. Spiritually dead. But we love the fake stuff, uh, Deborah. We love to act like we have it going on. Huh? We love to look like we're rich while we poor, while the really rich uh, 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 act like they poor, but they're really rich. That's us. This is us. This is us, man. We, we'll take or stuff that... I, I hate this stuff so bad. I really do. Just because I am, I have made it, I have made it, uh, uh, Lily. Just say I have... I ain't made it nowhere, <laughs> but just say I've made it and I got all everything together. I look down on my brother sisters that here they grown, and, but act and, and like they have a, a fifth grade education. That's how Yasharel is. That's what Yahuwah is trying to destroy. You mean you told me you always, you always had a on you. You treat these folk right. You do right by them. Yasharel will get into a high of uh, status and act like everybody else that's before that don't look like them, don't act like them, ain't worth a nickel worth a dog meat, Deborah. That's how we do. And our Alua hates that. He hates that. We'll get somewhere, man, and okay, you, you, you still got, we'll get somewhere and, and, and straighten our hair and, and push our boobs up and, 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 and push our butts out and, and put on our red bottoms and, and go sit in our office and this here and that. And then you got one of the Yasharel over there look like she's just coming out of slavery. And we'll talk down, look down. I'm telling you, I've seen this stuff happen. Yahuwah hates that. He hates it with a passion. It's even in the old writings. It's even in the old writings, in some of them books in the 1800s, how Yasharel treated uh, Yasharel that was below them. We have always had this way. We ain't just, really, we ain't just got this, got this way because trying to be other nations and, and act like we have always been among us. And Yahuwah do not like it, Period. He do not like it, period. We're the one that is still fleshly. Are y'all feeling me? Feel me. Don't be fake no more. It ain't going to get you nowhere but to the pit in the end. Stop being fake. Stop being thinking that you're better than your brother or your sister that has less than you because you are not. You are not. 
Don't get your name erased out of the book of life because of your pride that you have. Humble yourself. And I don't care if you got a billion. You're no better than the one that only has a thousand. And you better start showing up. Because your whore don't give you uh, uh, the baraka just for you to bloat and gloat and, and boast in it. He give you the baraka to, so that you can help others. He give you the blessing for that. We don't get that. We just want to drive around. We, we, we get in our Bentley and we'll drive around a poor neighborhood. We're just taunting. We're taunting. That's the way we are and we can't even admit it. We want other people to see and praise you. Y'all ain't hearing me, are you? And, that, and that's what you always want. That's what we, all, we always want to be praised. We always want to be talked up. When you really deserve to be told exactly where you are. But you can't function because somebody always talking you down, talking you down. Because you are down and you're trying to act like you're up. Always want to be encouraged when you ain't trying to encourage nobody else. You just want folks to be like you or to notice you. Y'all know I'm telling the truth about this. We are messed up. We are messed up. Well, look at this right here. Tell you, you got a name that you live. I'm telling you what the Bible is saying, but when I say it you, and break it down, you got a problem with it. You got a name that you live in, but actually after you dead. <laughs> you're trying to fake something, but you're dead. Do y'all not see what I see? Uh-huh. I know your works, and that thou has a name that thou livest, but you are dead. Now look what verse 2 says. He said, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. You're not only dead, but you got some other things about you that is ready to die. I need you to strengthen them if you're going to pick yourself up, if you're going to make it in. It says, be read that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before uh, Allure. This is what Hamashiach is saying. But we're saying we okay. And then here come a, a, a preacher or somebody like myself that telling you you're not okay, then I'm always speaking down on you. Tell Hamashiach that. You the one said that you have a name that you live in. He said you're not. And I'm saying that you're not too. I'm repeating what Amashiach says. Until we really see ourselves in his light and how he sees us, we will never be honest with ourselves. And we are always look at Deborah or them, or Ty or, or Denise, we always look at them as they nothing besides us. You fooling yourself because you, you, you got a name that you live in. You are dead. Okay, it says, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain uh, that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works uh, perfect uh, before Allure. It says, remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. All the stuff that we've been preaching and teaching all down these years. That's what he's telling you. Remember what you've heard. Remember this. Because some of us refuse to remember. Some of us refuse to acknowledge he said, and hold fast to what you have heard and repent. If therefore thou has not, if therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Keep on doing what we're doing. Keep on living like we're living. Keep on faking it till we make, uh, 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 until you make it. Keep on acting like you're more than someone. Keep on with this prideful attitude. Keep on uh, 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 parading yourself so somebody can be enamored with you or, 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 or speak highly uh, uh, for you and like you living when you're dead. Keep on with this stuff. Huh? Yahushua said, I'm going to come to you as a thief, meaning you ain't going to know when I come and take vengeance on you. You're not going to know when I come and destroy you. See, many of us don't want to hear it this way, but that's the way it is. Many of us want the nice version of, of this stuff. What is the nice version of it? 
Well, that's the nice version of it. Uh, in other words, we just want a flesh stroking. That's what we want because we, we won't wake up to reality. We refuse to wake up to how it really is. And then you want somebody like me, myself, to still come and stroke you? Well, you say, well, you don't, you don't ever speak good. Tell me what's good about you. Because I'm discerning some stuff. I'm discerning some stuff. Huh? You may think yourself good. And when Amasha said, call no man good on this earth. We won't even acknowledge that. We just still want to be called good. Call no man good up on this earth because there's no one good but my father. So why are you mad at me for not calling you good? Because in actuality, we have this fallen nature with men of us still year two, including myself, and we are not good. We are not good. So if I call you good, Ty, when you're not good, that's going to make you do better? No, it's going to make your pride grow. It's going to make you not even having, having to change. We better take the good with the bad, the, the bitter with the sweet, y'all, and make ourselves what we need to be. Because if you got a name, Bob, that you living, and a Marshak say you dead, why well, I'm going to come and praise you like you living. That's still what we want, Sister Lily. That's still what we want. Man, look at here. I'm telling you. I'm telling y'all these truths right here. I don't care if everybody get out of here except one person, except two people. I'm telling y'all the truth. You hear me? I'm telling y'all the truth. And, and that's the reason Hamasha had to say, he that endure to the end. Because so many people are going to be offended and betray one another and try to do this and that to one another. And this place is already reflecting that. You got me what I mean? You better open up your eyes. You better open up your eyes and be smart. Why are you going to start smoking crack cocaine when you didn't look down through history and see what it do to everybody else? You'll be a fool. Now, I understand if crack cocaine just come on the scene and you mess around and get addicted and get on it. Well, you didn't have nothing to go by. But you done seen all down through history what this stuff does to people. And you still going to make the choice to try it? Come on. You done seen how things are? Time for Yasharel to get smart. It says, thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garment. You got some people that is not defiled, though. But the majority of you, most of you are saying, the majority of you are saying that I liveth. But you are dead. You know why I said the majority of them people were saying that? Because of Marsha said, you only have a few names that haven't defiled <laughs> their garments. So the majority have. But a few of y'all hadn't defiled your garments. Right? He didn't say the majority have not defiled their garments. He said a few of you. A few of you have not defiled your garments. And they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh, overcometh what? I'm already put together, Deborah. I already live it. I already got it going on. So what did you mean I have to overcome? Oh, hmm. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white, raiment. And I shall not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Ruach saith unto the assemblies. Now, this is what I want to get down to. Verse 7 says, And to the angel of the assembly of Philadelphia write, These things says he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David. He, sh uh, uh, he shall open and none shall sh uh, shut. And he shall shut and none shall open. Now look who is talking here over what you think about yourself, over what we have gathered that we are or whatever or whatever is making me feel big or pride. It says, and the angel of the assembly of Philadelphia writes, these things saith, the one that's saying this right here. Y'all feel me? The one that is saying this right here, he is holy. <laughs> he is the truth. He that has the key of David. He that can open and no man can close it. He that can close it and no man can close it. So why I want to uh, confide with, why I want to 
contest him and what he's saying about me. He's the one holy. See, stuff like this we don't see in Scripture. We still want to proclaim and parade around what we think we are. But the one that is holy see all of this. By the way, it's the same one that told them folk up in the in Sardo church that you got a name that you live in, but you dead. We don't want to acknowledge this stuff. We just want to acknowledge and be told what a wonder we are. Now look what he said in verse 8. He said, I know your works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. Now this is the same one that can open and no man can shut it. I've set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Look at that. They've been beat down by the oppressors. They have went through this. They have went through that. He said, you got a little strength. But the thing that I'm really prizing is, you have not denied my name. How do we deny the Most High's name? Do anybody know? I named a lot of it. You denying his name because many of us saying that we live is and we are dead. You denying his name when you are faking it till you break it. You are denying his name when you present yourself to be something that you are not. You denying his name. You denying his name when you seeking praise of men instead of Yahuwah. You denying his name then. We denying his name. We denying his name when we talk do each other kind of, uh, kind of way. We deny his name when we don't love each other the way he ever uh, instructed us to love each other. Huh? We deny his name when we don't even give a crap about what he said. We deny his name. And I can't bring to what he have said uh, for me to do. I can't bring myself to do it because the feeling just too strong. How I don't like them. We are in our flesh, we are in our feelings and our emotions, and, and our fallen nature is controlling us. And I refuse to get over it. That's the reason he that overcome. Overcome what? I don't see anything I have to overcome. I'm perfect in my eyes. This is how flesh is. This is how flesh is. I see my faults. I and I hate them. I keep myself before the most high. I don't like me. I don't like being like this. I don't like feeling like this. I don't like thinking like this. Every once in a while I get free of this only to think it's come back. So really was I, really was I ever free? Do we ever question ourselves or talk to him that way? And still just going on and, 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 uh, uh, and praising how I feel about Lily. I don't too much like Lily and this here and that. And I don't care how she feels. Do I praise that? We're messed up. But no one has the, has, has the guts uh, down to tell us we messed up. Because why? We don't want them mad at me. I don't give a crap. Because I'm not going to be. I don't, I don't have time to be before the most high. I know what I'm illustrating here. No, I want to be before the most high. Just go on in and enjoy the kingdom. I ain't got time to be trying to wash your blood off my hand. I ain't got time for that. Your blood ain't even going to be on my hand. That's the reason I don't care how you feel about what I'm saying to y'all today. Because I'm telling y'all the truth. How I know this? Because we are human beings. And we are not yielded to a Marshak the way we're supposed to be yielded to a Marshak. We don't even care about one another. The few, our little few in here, we don't love one another. We love our feelings. We love what we think of ourselves. That's what we praise. That's what we worship. And you're going to say we ain't dead? I, I love a Marshak. I'm living. So you, you, you got a name that you live in? And you know how we feel about one another? If I don't, if I don't give you praise because of what you, you think you have accomplished, then I, I'm mean. If I don't acknowledge you, uh, that means I'm mean. Come on, you got to get out of your own done head and put this devil to flight and worship Yahuwah because it's all about him. We think that he didn't destroy our ancestors in the wilderness uh, uh, because Moses prayed for him and don't kill him and don't destroy him and this here and that. But you know why Yahuwah said he didn't kill us and destroy us in the wilderness, just wiped us out? He said because it was because of my own namesake. Because these nations saw me brought out of Egypt and now I brought you out here to destroy you. They're going to think that 
I can't bring you into the land. So I'm, I'm, I'm not destroying you because I'm holding up for my own name, not you. But we want to think highly of ourselves. It's only one that's supposed to think highly of himself and because he is high, and that's Yahuwah. But we think we are gods. I'm telling y'all the truth here. He said, that's the only reason I didn't destroy you. I protected my own. Them nations, them Gentiles saw me bring you out of Egypt. And you think I'm going to give them the opportunity to think that I can't bring you into the land, so I just chose to kill you in this wilderness? I'm not going to let them blaspheme my name like that. I'm able to do what I said or, or when I said it, and I'm going to do what I said, and, and, and can't nobody prevent that, can't nobody stop that. Even your hard head self is not going to stop that. My name is so holy. I'm, I am not killing you or destroying you because I'm protecting my own name. But we want to be told only, and it's part true, but it ain't the whole truth. We only want to be told that he didn't destroy us because he love us. He love us. He love us. It's all about us. We make stuff all about us. Are y'all following me? We make stuff all about us. He love us. We are Yasharel. We are perfect. And, and we have been set apart. No, he didn't kill us because uh, he protected his own name. His name is the one that's holy. Daniel ain't holy. Denise's name ain't holy. Lily show ain't holy. But Yahuwah is holy. And that's why he didn't destroy us to protect his own name. Why can't we face those facts? Why? We don't want to face those facts because we want to be the wonder. This is, I'm, I'm talking to y'all about what's deep down in us. What's deep down in us. And we don't want to face that darkness. We don't want to face that fact. We want to exclude that and pretend that it's not there. But that's the very thing that when we get before him, he'll say, depart from me, I never knew you. Because we wouldn't let him get to that. We wouldn't let him get to that. We just want to go around uh, 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 celebrating the fact, oh, how he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. He loves us because he is love. He ain't loves us because of the good that we have done, Sister Lily. He don't love us because of who we think we are. He loves us because he is love, and he chose Abraham, them, our fathers, and Jacob, and Isaac, them, and they was true to him. And he made a promise to them too. So because they did him right, he's trying to do their descendants right with our hard head self. Because he made the promise to them. But we want to go around thinking that we're the wonder all the time. And the church has stole everything there is about you. Maybe that's why we're so hungry for the attention because Christianity stole it and claimed it for themselves. I need my nourishment back. I need my truth back. I need everything back that Yahushua gave me to balance my life. If I get that back, then I won't need to be worshipped. I, I wouldn't need to be uh, told that I am all of this and that. I wouldn't need to be told that, uh, uh, that I'm dead. I realize already that I am dead and don't have life unless he give it to me. Because they just stole everything. Every promise that he had promised, they think it's for them. They thank us for them. And we are just the scum and cursed of the earth. Well, actually the one that he have chosen to put his name on. So we, so I just, since that have come to me, thank you, Rob, I digress from telling us what miserable folk we are. <laughs> because they have, so much been taken from us. So I'm really like a fish out of water. Y'all feel me? Trying to breathe. Because everything had been taken from me. Which, and now at this time, the door had been opened that Yasharel shall wake up again. Now this is what I need to be grateful of and begin, and begin to give all praise to the Most High. All praise to the Most High. All praise to the Most High, because he is my light. He is my peace, huh? He is my light. He is my everything. He is my food. He is my rest. He is my sleep. He's my everything. It don't matter what I've accomplished with my hands. I am not to contribute it to me. I am to contribute it to him. 
Huh? He is the one that is awakening me. He is the one that bringing me to understand who I am, that I've been chosen by him. Not my smarts, not my education, huh? not who I think I am, not my intelligence. It's him that is waking me up. It's him that is waking us up. And it's not for me to boast into that. It's still for me to carry out my responsibility toward him first and then toward the nations, the Gentile nations second. Tell them these things. We got it so wrong. We have it so wrong. We have it so wrong. Which verse am I at? Verse 8. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door that no man can shut. For thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Yehudim. Which say they are Jews. Who's saying it? Who's saying that they are Jews? Huh? Not Satan. He said he's going to make them of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews. Who's saying they are Jews? Huh? Them people over in the fake land, Israel. That's fake too. Everything is fake. That's fake too. Because it ain't us. We just, and we still don't say we are Jews. We say we, we say we Hebrews. We say that we are Yehuda. Because we still don't say we are Jews. Even though the Most High is waking us up, we still don't say we are Jews. We say that we are the Hebrew people. We say that we are a borrower. We say we are the Songhai dynasty. Dynasty. We say the Songhai dynasty. But he said that I'm going to make them of the synagogue or the congregation of Satan which say they are Yehudim and are not, but do lie. Now, I want you to know that, that you know, they're trying to ban the Bible now, don't you? Because they, they, they so smart folk back in the day, they should have took this out, but this wasn't taken out, so they said this is anti-Semitism. Did y'all know that? Everything anti-Semitism now. So now because the scriptures are saying this and they forgot to take this out, though them jokers would have took this out, but Yahuwah uh, caused them probably perhaps to look over that bar. And so now that's still in there because ain't nobody saying they are Jews but them. But now this is anti-Semitism because Yahuwah said, I'm going to make you of the synagogue of the devil because that's what you are. That's what you are. And these people, these people are so awful in this day these people are so awful in this day, and we follow, we follow what they say just to have what they have, what they got. That's just like they scared to say this person will kill. Now it's unalive. Get away from me. We play along with everything. We go along with everything. So how are you ever gonna make a difference if you don't push against the prick? We can't even say kill no more. They might throw us off. Throw us off. Throw us off. Unalive. You gonna tell me we hadn't been deceived by men? And you thinking you alive and you dead? You gonna tell me we ain't going the way of the world and not by your who like we boasting that we who we are? What's the other one they use? They, they, they can't even, uh, 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 they, they don't even say Jews no more. They don't even say rape no more. You can't even say this man raped a woman. Now you grape, just grape, grape, grape. We, we foolish fools. That's what we are, foolish fools. We think that we have to have, we think that we have to have the world's platform when Yahuwah said, I'm going to get their attention by blowing a trumpet. Why can't he blow one for us now? Why? Because he won't blow one because we don't trust in him. We trust in what we have, the world's platforms. I'm going around saying, well, uh, they unalive that person. They killed the person. We just, 
That we are so weak. We say we are strong. We're not strong. Because we got to do what they say to stay on their platform. You hear me what I'm saying? Can we see it? I don't give a crap if these people don't show us no more. I'm telling you. I don't care. You're not going to control my life. You give them power over your life. You're going to give the Antichrist uh, power over your life. Why? Because you are afraid and you still love your life. You still love your life. Once you believe Yahuwah that says that, that I'm your life, you, if you, if you get, lay down your life for my sake, you're going to pick it up. Once you believe that, you don't care what they do because they don't have the control over you. We, these things still have the control on us. Why? Because we are giving it. Let if Say again. Tell you. How you going to tell me what to say? How you going to tell me what to say? Only Yahusha, only Yahuwah should have that power. But we have given that, just like Adam gave all that power to say, we are still doing it. And we can't even see it with our smart, intelligent, uh, 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 degreed of self. And we can't even see it. I don't care if you two were paying me $100,000 a month. You ain't going to stop me from saying what I need to say. You are not going to have me saying on a live when it's killing. But I got it to put it the way you put it. I will forfeit your $100,000. Because y'all is my provider. Y'all know y'all don't believe it. I know you don't believe it. Y'all is my provider. Y'all is my provider. I promise you. But we go along with everything they say, and then we complain about what's being ushered in. You helping them to usher it in. You helping them to, work, to usher in the one world government. They wouldn't be able to do they, you, how, how are you going to complain about they sending uh, Ukraine billions of dollars when all you got to do if we would come on one mind and stop letting them order our mind to stop paying your done taxes. We ain't got no business being taxed on something that you own. We never get through paying for homes. We never get through paying for cars because we got to pay the, the, the uh, taxes on the, on the tag. We got to buy the tag every we give these folk their power, and then we're going to complain about where they send our money. you giving them your money. Because we can't never come as one. This is the reason they keep us, keep us split up. Black folk, them white folk hate you. White folk, them black folk get, got us fighting while, they, while we distracted doing all this stuff and while they working on the hand. We ain't paying no attention to what they're doing. Y'all shut up talking to me. Talking about some unalive. No, them folk over there in, 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 in North Virginia, wherever they they killed them folk. They hung them folk. And they ain't going to say they hung themselves. The popo did it. They've always done it. What make this case here? <laughs> They've always did it. The sundown towns. Huh? They've always did it to us. And we are scared to even speak it. We are afraid to even speak it. When are we going to get some balls? Now that offend you, don't it? But what you doing or won't do or won't speak don't offend you. We, so, we are so hypocritical. We are so hypocritical. Is my email in that thing down? Huh? I had a way to put my email in there. And every Yehuda that hear me what I'm saying, let's talk and let's come together. Because we're messing up here. Stop depending on these world, on this world's platforms and start believing in Yehuda, in Yahuwah. 
Because they can't do nothing. Why? Because if he shut the door, they can't open it. If he opened the door, they can't shut it. We don't believe it. We don't believe it. So we got to say what they tell us to say. To keep from, to keep from getting knocked out. If Yahushua opened the door, they can't knock you out. Why can't we go this way? Why can't we believe this? Why can't we, babe? We don't have the faith that we're saying that we have. We are faking it. We are appearing that we are strong. We are appearing that we are mighty. We are appearing that we are, 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 are what we're saying we are, but we are afraid to talk. Well, you got to have some wisdom. Now you're just trying to keep your pocketbook full. You didn't accept it, the 30 pieces of silver. You have accepted that we just won't do right. We're bought. Instead of saying that we're not bought, we have accepting the 30 pieces of silver. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm almost done for real because now we got to get up here and explain this here thing. Which verse am I at? Well, it says in verse 9 again, it says, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Yehudim and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Huh? These ones that stole your identity. If you believe Yahuwah, he's he, he going to do that. He said, I'm going to make them to come and worship before your feet and to know that I've loved you, not them. We don't believe that. We don't believe that. And it says, because thou hast, uh, and because thou hast kept my word, the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Now, that's what I want to get to. What is the hour of temptation? All the stuff that I just read in Matthew 24. We really don't have to go through it, Ty. We really don't have to feel. Because he says right here again, because thou hast kept. But in our case, but if we would keep, if we would keep the word of his patience, the word of his truth, huh? the word of his Torah, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them, to test them that dwell upon the earth. We could be kept from that. You want to know how I know we can be kept from it? Ecclesiastes again, that which shall be and shall be, uh, there's nothing new under the sun. Israel was kept from the desolation and the testing and the trials and the temptations of Egypt. They was in the land of Goshen. It never touched them. Only the one that didn't believe it. Many of them died because they, believed, they refused to believe Moses and Aaron. They died coming right to the door. But when God brought the frogs, huh? when God brought, brought the, the, the locusts, when Yah brought all of these things to them, when he brought all of these, these ten pestilence to them, it never affected Yashorel. It never affected them. When y'all brought the blackness, Deborah, that it, you couldn't even see uh, your hand in front of your face. It was so thick blackness. Yasharel still had light. So is he not able to perform this again? We don't have to fear, Alice. We just have to have true faith and not fear at all and believe him. There's no reason for you to be tested if you're not hard headed there's no reason for you to be tried if you're walking in obedience. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, temperance, all of these things, against such, there is no law. Why you need to be tested when you are not on, you doing that, 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 which is not on the law? Are y'all following me? We just think about so, so it. We just need to just think about it because we ain't doing right. Because we haven't been taught right. That's all I'm gonna, that's all I'm gonna do. Mm. But we don't have to go through the hour of temptation. 
And then he says in verse 11, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast. In other words, don't let it go. Keep hold on it. That no man take thy crown. You have one. Don't let no man take your crown from you, Bob. Why does he say that? Because in 2 Peter, he says that you are kings and priests. Kings and priests. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my allure. Going to make a, a, a pillar. Okay, now that's when you get your prestige. You know, a pillar just only means, you ain't talking about something, you know, like these great pillars that's out there under the porch, that's holding up the porch. He's going to give you influence. He's going to give you a place there. You're going to be one of the leaders there. I'm going to make you a pillar in my kingdom. But we want to be pillars now. You have to earn this. Oh, uh, 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 Hamashek, grant my son and, 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 and grant my two sons uh, to sit beside you in your kingdom. <laughs> See, they want to be recognized now. We want to be recognized now. He said, that ain't for, my, that ain't for me to give. They got to prove they sell. Are they going to be able to drink the cup that I got to drink of? In other words, are they going to be able to go through the hell that I'm going to go through? And they said, yes, indeed, we'll go through that hell. They ain't know what they're talking about. But they went through it. They had to earn that. We want to be set up high before we earn it. That, that, those are earthly desires. Those are earthly desires, church. Come on, come on. Come on, Samuel. We can't do that. We cannot do that. We got to get it together in our head first. So he that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my uh, allure. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the new name of my allure. Hmm. And the name of the city of my allure. Which is new Jerusalem. Which cometh down out of heaven. From my allure. From Abba Yah. <laughs> Come on, from Abba Yah. Ain't that some? Hmm. And I will write upon him my new name. And he that has an ear, let him hear in verse 13, what the Ruach saith unto the assemblies. We got to start listening to him. Stop listening to men. Men that is not led by the Ruach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise y'all. I'm done, darling.